Hey guys, I'm back and I'm here with a new tutorial using the sold out Jacqueline Hill palette from Morphe. This just released about two weeks ago. It was sold out and then today it relaunched again and sold out. They're expecting to have a new launch in August. So in the meantime, in between time, I am doing a giveaway which you guys can check out towards the end of the video. I will get into that. But I'm going to go ahead and get into this look. If you guys want to see how I created this look, just keep on watching. So for those of you who don't know much about the palette, this palette is in a collaboration with Jacqueline Hill and Morphe Brushes. This does retail for $38. This palette comes with 35 shades, which are gorgeous. They are absolutely perfectly pigmented and will be great on every skin tone. So let's just get into it. Priming, I'm going to start off with City Colors Primer Oil. You guys know I love this stuff. It makes my makeup look so freaking flawless. I have to have this underneath my makeup. I'm so going to try the Smashbox one though. So I am going to go in with the second primer and that's going to be Benefits Professional. You guys know I love this stuff the way it smells. And for my lips, I'm just going to put some moisturizer of the baby lips. And for eyebrows, I'm going to be using, per usual, the Anastasia um, Brow Pomade in the color Chocolate and Dark Brown. I had to mix a little bit because I'm going to be putting on a wig a little bit later. And I'm just going to be cleaning up my eyebrows using MAC Concealer in the color NC42. So, of course, I had to color correct. And then for foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro MAC Foundation in the color 09. I love this color during the summertime because I can use it alone. But in the winter, I definitely have to mix it with another foundation because it's a little bit too orange and too, like, on the warm side. So I'm just going to clean up the top of my eyebrows and then I'm going to be blending this out using a Morphe uh, blending sponge. It's like the beauty blender or whatever. Um, it actually is pretty good. I like it. So for um, concealer, I'm going to be using the Tarte uh, Shape Tape Concealer in the color Tan Sand. You guys know I love this one. It is bomb.com. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is going to be the only high-end product I'm going to be using throughout the video, despite the concealer I clean my eyebrows up with. But realistically, that's things like $10, so it's not that expensive. But anyways, um, just blend that out with the Morphe sponge. I seen Jaclyn Hill using this Morphe sponge in that video that she did with Kim Kardashian. I'll link that video down below. Um, that video was very interesting because she was interrupting her like the entire time and Kim Kardashian seemed very annoyed but um I love me some Kim K so I had to watch and Jaclyn Hill she doesn't bother me so I like her I like her work um and I love this palette so I mean I'm with it I'm gonna be using the Clan Color Skin Jure and the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Chestnut and I'm just gonna contour it with both of these just to add some warmth back to my face and give me some depth um, but you're gonna just, um, be easy with that clean color one because it's really deep. So spray your brush a little bit and those colors will blend perfectly. You guys know I'm in love with this brush. I talk about it all the time. So if you guys don't know, now you know. <laughs> anyway, so just keep blending that out and make sure you sculpt. You sculpt. You sculpt. You sculpt. You sculpt. Until you guys are flawless and then I'm going to be setting with the beauty bakery setting powder I'm not going to share how I feel about this setting powder because I am going to be having a review come out sometime this week and you guys can uh, Hear my thoughts on this setting powder But this is from beauty bakery and it is in the color yellow So you're just going to go ahead and set this with a damp beauty blender I'm using that morphe one that I seen Jacqueline Harrell shamelessly advertise yay so now the palette I'm going to be digging into the shade called butter and I'm going to be using this as my transition color while that um, setting powder bakes so I'm just applying this with the morphe e29 and you just want to use this um, I had to use this generously just because I'm of a deeper complexion but you can do it however you want. So the next color I'm digging into is going to be the color Hunts. And this is such a beautiful color. It blended out gorgeous. OMG, honey. And I am going to be using a Morphe 143. Everything that I, or for the most part, that everything that I'm going to be using will be listed below. If I move, miss a few things, I apologize. But yeah. I'm loving this shade. It's everything. The next shade I'm going to be going in with is Sissy. And I thought that was so cute. 
that she called it sissy for her sister because I call my sissy sissy. So if you're watching sissy, I love you. Comment down below. So I'm just packing this on the lower part of my lid with an R44 from Morphe. This is from their rose gold collection and it is gorgeous. So in the outer crease, I'm going to be applying mocha. And I'm going to be using a old school Morphe brush from like way back when to pack this color on. The hairs on this brush are still super soft. And if you can still find on their website this collection, which I don't know if it's available, you should get your hands on it because it is amazing. It's great, great, great for packing on uh, color on the outer creases and in the inner tear duct really nice so with the clean morphe 433 i'm going to be blending this out um just to kind of blend it out i don't want it to be like really harsh so you kind of want to get it a little smoky if you guys ever use morphe brushes let me know down in the comment box below how you feel about them i hear that a lot of different opinions about these brushes so i'm curious so i'm going in with the anastasia contour kit um, I'm going to be using the tan to medium to dark and I'm using a couple of shades with the wet and wild brush This brush was like a dollar, but it is freaking so good. I was like so surprised I I went in this Expecting it to be crap. Just like let me try this. It ain't gonna work, but it's only a dollar and then I was like, oh, okay All right. Hey, I see you so I'm going to be dusting away some of this excess powder with my Real Techniques brush and I did dap it in a little bit of the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder 09 is the shade and for blush I'm going to be using Milani's Baked Blush in the color Bellissimo Bronze. I really love this shade and it has such a beautiful like shimmer so for cleaning up i'm gonna dig back into that um powder that i used earlier to bake and then dust it away because i don't want to do that a long time underneath so for highlight i'm using milani's highlighter this is going to be used with a morphe brush this is from the gunmetal collection i'm not sure what number it is i think it's like g g something i'll list it down below but this highlighter is from Milani and it's listed down below the shade I'm going to be using to um, highlight my brow bone from the palette is going to be beam this color is really really gorgeous and it fits me perfectly because it has a little bit of a yellow undertone and it doesn't look all gray or ashy on the skin so I'm using an R45 and I'm digging in the color twerk yes twerk 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 and i'm getting into enchanted and i'm just gonna mix those shades together and smoke out the under lower eye and with the milani liquid liner pencil i'm gonna be creating like a wing liner to be honest with you looking back at this video i wish i would have never put the um eyeliner but it looks nice um for a daytime look i definitely would skip the eyeliner because it was beautiful without it so curl my lashes and then i'm using the Maybelline big colossal lashes this is like really really good so I've been using this quite often so for eyelashes I'm using the flutter lashes Shayla lashes and I am just going to apply this with some dual lash glue and my real technique tweezers these lashes are so gorgeous so for my brows just to tame them down and make sure they don't move anywhere I'm using Ardell sculpting gel and for lips, I'm using the Wet n Wild um, Katsu Lipstick, and I will leave the shade listed down below. This color is so pretty. So I'm going to using my Real Techniques um, Lip Kit, and I did feature this in my Marshall Haul. If you guys want to check it out, it'll be right here and down below. This thing is so cute to clean up your lips. So I'm going to be setting my um, face with the Beasley and Peabody setting spray this is a lavender and chamomile and yes she slays honey okay guys so this is the final look i went ahead and put on a wig that i did receive from eva's wigs if you guys want to see a full review and how i installed this wig you guys can click on the link here and that'll be there for you but i really like it this is a nice summery um 
right look i am hosting a giveaway on my instagram at i am sasha fierce 411 go ahead and check it out all the rules will be down in um the description box as well you do have to go ahead and head over there to um complete some of the entry rules and then you guys can be entered to win this beauty it does have 35 shades that um jacqueline hill customized herself apparently it took her like two years to make but i do want to vouch for the fact that she says that the formula is different in this palette I definitely did see a difference in this palette considering I do own other morphe palettes and they don't blend as well as this palette blended so I was really happy with the especially the matte shades and how pigmented they really were so yes guys don't miss up on the opportunity I am hosting this giveaway until August 31st I'm gonna be announcing the winner on the August 31st, July 31st, <laughs> and then I will announce the winner on August 1st, and they will be announced here on my channel, so make sure you guys enter the giveaway so that you guys have the opportunity to win this palette. It is sold out currently, even though they did launch it today at like 8 a.m., I knew it was going to sell it again, so I went ahead and drove to Burbank, and we picked this up for you guys, so yay, I'm so excited. So don't forget to enter the giveaway. I want to thank all my subscribers for your support. I love you guys. I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with somebody in my video. Bye!